we've run this program for about five or six years, and um, we collect enough data to confidently say 75 to 80 percent of people in our intensive outpatient program get a, a clinically meaningful um, reduction in PTSD symptoms and depression symptoms. So they, they feel significantly better as a result of the program. Um, rather than rest on our laurels and say, hey, this is pretty good, um, we have tried to focus on the 20% that don't seem to get benefit from it. And I, we have a couple things we're trying. I think one is to try to predict ahead of time um, who those people are. Um, and another way to say this is, as wonderful as this model and this program is, it can't help everybody. Maybe we can catch people before they come and try to route them to a more appropriate treatment. That's one way. I think another way is that once people are here and it becomes apparent that they may not benefit, um, how do we pivot to add things that may, may result in a, in a benefit by the end of the program? So one thing that we're trying, and, and actually we'll be starting in the next couple weeks, is um, we have a machine learning algorithm that can predict with um, good accuracy, with excellent accuracy, that by the end of the first week we know who will benefit from the program and who won't. And so what we want to do is take the people who probably won't benefit from the program and then... Um, add transcranial magnetic stimulation um, to their treatments while they're here. Um, this is a complex procedure. I have to admit I don't understand all of it. Um, but the experts tell me that it's basically like jump-starting a person's brain with a powerful magnet, right? That you can um, use magnetic energy to stimulate parts of a person's brain so that they may be able to um, get more out of uh, session content, that they're able to form new memories, learn new things, um, and retain more from their time in treatment than they might be otherwise. Another thing that we're trying um, in a closely affiliated lab um, to Road Home program is to pair a procedure um, that was traditionally used for pain control. It's called the stellate ganglion block. Um, which is uh, basically injecting anesthesia into a bundle of nerves in your neck um, that connects to your amygdala. Um, the amygdala is um, a part of your brain that's responsible for fear and anger and you know, the, those kinds of emotions. Um, and what that does is basically um, turns that system down long enough um, that the theory is um, you should be able to, to uh, more easily engage in detailed discussions of trauma and the more, um, you know, kind of frontal lobe um, kinds of therapy uh, that we, we do um, so that that therapy then is enhanced um, because of the stellate ganglion bark procedure. So those are uh, well, two of the things that we're, we're thinking of trying. Brainline is powered in part by Wounded Warrior Project honor and empower post 9-11 injured service members, veterans, and their families. 